Peace, beautiful people. This is Bellucci, and welcome to the Unapologetic No Mass. If you haven't already, please like and share this video. We are currently in Philly, and on this beautiful day, Mickey and Ayla and I are all up early. And guess what? They are ready to fly to a totally different location. So y'all about to leave, Ayla? Yes, and whatnot. All right. Well, I'll see y'all soon. We will see you. But when we get it. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for everything. Love you, sis. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, see, I guess I'll see y'all soon. Yes, we'll see you soon, my yeah. love. It's always sad watching the family leave. Instead of cry and sulk and misery and regret, I decided to do something that I have not done in years. That's right. You guessed it. Cut the grass. I kind of miss cutting the grass, but then again, I kind of don't. Anyway, I was famished after I cut our good friend Sylvia's grass. I decided to go up the street and get me a chicken cheese steak. Mm -hmm. This chicken cheese steak was delicious. It was all that. After I finished eating, I washed up and headed to South Street to link up with my cousin Jesse. Now we're currently on Broad and South Street in Philadelphia, as you can see. Chilling. The weather's real nice today. It's a beautiful day and it's a Friday, so we're gonna go down here. South Street is one of the most popular streets out here in Philly. And I'm chilling with my cousin Jesse. That's right. Yeah. You used to live in South Philly too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to live uh, probably about, I want to say maybe four or five blocks from here. Uh -huh. We used to come down here you know, every other day, walk down here, run them up, yeah. up and down South Street. You know, because South Street is uh, one of the most known strips in Philly. It's, uh -huh. a, it's, it's, it's a street of just stores and establishments and a lot of different people you got, you know, a lot of women. Listen, let me leave with that. <laughs> um, but just a, a different uh, caliber of people, eclectic people, people that you know from all all different parts of from everywhere. Right. So is South Street the same like it was when we was growing up? No, actually, I think South Street is pretty much the same. I mean, Ooh. we had we had a little bit of crime, a little some unusual things happened down here not too long ago. Um, that you know typically don't happen down South Street because it's usually such a, a heavy police presence. But you know, a lot of things change since COVID. Everything changes. Okay. Walking down South Street brought back so many memories of when I used to live in South Philly. <laughs> Everybody, so we in, we in South Street and we came to this store. What's the name? Gate 215. Okay, so what kind of stuff do you have in this store? We sell clothes inside of the store, but outside I sell herbal tea called okay. Tea. This is my business. Um, mm. Doing a pop up shop selling iced teas for two dollars or four dollars. Today, um, I'm giving out three samples of Wonder, it got some cinnamon, mint, basil, sage, and jasmine. Nice, and it's only made with honey. No sugar, so it's 100% natural. Okay, so is this like that tea that, that helps you lose weight and stuff? Yeah, but not this one specifically. Um, oh, okay. This one just helps with digestion, it helps upset stomach, it helps your skin, it helps keep you young. Mm. Yeah, and it helps energize you, so it keep you hydrated. Nice. Do you have a website or yeah, Instagram? I do have a website. My website is uh, rootedtea.shop. And the Instagram is rooted.t on Instagram. Nice. And what's your name, miss? Um, Rayana. Rayana. Nice to meet you, Rayana. Okay, yeah, let me get a car. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. We checked out some cool stores while That's down cool. South Street. Every. One store that I was shocked to see was Black and Nobel. What's up, beautiful people? So we're down here at the famous Black and Nobel. Yeah, so how you doing today, sis? Good. And what's your name? 
the sky. How long has Black and Nobel been in South Street? <laughs> a long time. For real. I must have been gone for a minute because this was in North Philly from yes. what I remember. They moved to North Philly. Then they were at the pop up years ago. Okay. Uh, well, not that long ago. Uh huh. Before the COVID pandemic happened, they were on South Street at the pop up store. Then once COVID happened, they moved to right there. Okay. And as you can see, we're still there. It's on top of the Ah, yeah. nice. So, this is the most recent. The most recent, okay. So, what kind of stuff do you have here? So we have plant based skincare, hair care, health and wellness. Mm. Of course, books, because you know, like Nobel, I believe they started off as a bookstore. Yeah, nice. All right, is it cool if I go in here and check it out? Nice. And y'all have shows and like uh, yes. things going on? Coming up July 30th. It's about health and liberation. Mm -hmm. healing, sound healing. Definitely check it out. Nice. Do y'all have lectures here? Yes, depending on the day. They definitely have different events. Honestly. I would definitely recommend that you talk to the guys in there. Okay. They know the store way better than me. Okay. It's my first day. But, oh, for real? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, you did a good job for your first day. I thought you you were here for years. Well, I've been around here, but I haven't worked with you since. Cool. Nice. Uh, what's your name? I'm Floyd. Floyd. Nice to meet you, Floyd. So, uh, do y'all have lectures here? We do lectures, book signings. Uh, meet and greets, new hosts, uh -huh. uh, you know, personal events for the people. This definitely is a, a medium and a place for the people, but uh, we not doing lectures as much, but that was uh, one of our main platforms that we could really have, yeah. uh, I say, develop like a reputation and help even make the name more yeah. uh, worldwide and national. Just to cool. tell anybody who is somebody online that they trend with the followers or not even trend with the followers online and still doing something, mm -hmm. more than likely they came Look, through. It's all crammed over here, you know, right? Black and Nobel. That's so facts. At one point, so, and that's ranging from from Umar to yeah, uh, Kaba Kamen. Yeah. Like, With all of them uh, guys, Professor you know, Griff, the Pills, Griff, everybody. Yeah. So this was this was the main platform, the medium. Cool. Where a lot of that stuff was being held back yeah. in the day, Black and Nobel. So how long has when did Black and Nobel start? Uh, well, Black and Nobel itself been around going like twenty two years. Twenty two years. Yeah, a couple, mm. a couple decades. Okay. A couple decades. Mm. Yeah, man, this, I know this store is really like, gave a lot of knowledge to the community, man. Yeah. And I, I don't know who the owners are, but I just want to know, I appreciate them, man. Hakeem Hopkins. Hakeem Hopkins. Nice. That's the owner. I appreciate that's that, the, brother. That's, that's the energy and the creator. Okay. You know, he started, he started from a table. Man. He started from a table on the street. Mm -hmm. With the soaps. Mm. And then they added the books into it. But yeah, I came out and started from the one table. Okay. You know, so happen. whatever your dreams is, your ambition, your aspiration, keep on going and keep pushing. Thanks, you man. Know, you got a mission and you operating on conviction. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You really can achieve what it is you dream and imagine mm. if you have that will. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, no doubt. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. You know, Appreciate highlight that. the story, highlight Black and Nobel. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it. All right, man. Good look, man. I appreciate your time, man. Yes, indeed. So we left South Street, and I got a call from my old head, Vern. Vern was the band leader of the FTL band, which is a band I used to play for when I lived out here in Philly. He said he was playing at the Crab Tavern and to come through. I stopped at the crib, washed up, and headed to the Crab Tavern in Darby. I got to meet up with my old bandmates from the FTL band. Yo, peace out, man. I'm, I'm out here at the Crab Tavern. This is Darby, right? This is... Yeah, we in Darby right now. 
Yeah, we got the yeah, we got the FTL band's finest. Oh, man. Hey, for the love band. Yeah, we got Talia in the building. You singing yeah. tonight, girl? You singing tonight? You singing to Talia? Am I singing? Wait, 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 wait. I'm great. She acts like she's scared. Uh, I'm great. Hey, and I'm great. Bro, yo, we we got the uh, the band leader. <laughs> the band leader. Uh, yeah, the, the deacon. <laughs> One thing I was not trying to do though was get up and play the keyboard because it's been so long since I played. I mean, it's been like two years. What's the question? What you, you better be playing. I want to see some hands and some keys and stuff. I ain't playing. Look, I ain't playing a couple years. Hmm? Oh. But guess what? My old bandmates wasn't having it. They said, Baluchi, get up here. You got to play. So they made me get up there and I must say, I'm glad that they pushed me because we had a great, memorable time. We got the band leader FTL here. <laughs> That's how you feel? Yeah, you just... I'm all all right, yeah. You feel so man, look. You like one of the baddest bass players out here, man. No, not no more, man. I'm retired. How's, how's it feel to be one of the baddest bass players out here in Philly, man? Well, I want to say something. Ray Ray, Fred, <laughs> Earl, Sha Sha, uh -huh. you know, the rest of the crew for the block. <laughs> <laughs> See, you may be the best bass player because I couldn't hear that shit until I started listening to you. Oh, come on, man. You know what I mean? Don't do that, man. Yeah, you may be the best yeah. five strings. I was only playing four. Damn. Nice. Yeah. Yo, man, I appreciate you, man. Everything you uh you did for me and for everybody else, man, because you help a lot of people out here, man. Yeah, and I, I want to give you flowers for you roll out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One day when you like 78, 79, up there in the hundreds. Oh, man, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm thankful that y'all came into my life. Cause see, we all only here for a season. Yeah. And over the years, I felt that it's my job to touch everybody that I can in the best way that I can. Yeah. There's a reason why we met, man. You ain't just strolling the Dallas Palace for no reason at all, bro. Yeah, for real. Yeah. And, and you are a fallen soldier, you know, Lacey and Cole. Uh -huh. Big Bear Benson for Lyle Smith. Yeah. You know, we made the magic. You know? Facts. Yeah, I remember at some point, B, they was trying to catch up with us. Yeah. We was the youngest cats out here. Yeah. He's a threat, but we still a threat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to get back in the lab and, and see what the deal is, man. Playing, man. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta come out Dubai. We can plug up to the sand and do it, homeboy. Right? Yeah. You go to South Africa, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get uh. Shit out there. Can I curse on you, Joe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit out there. Yeah. Don't play the heat. <laughs> you ain't, know what? It's actually cold out there, though, oh, man. Yeah. You know, all the yeah. work you did, man, and, and your wonderful wife, Mickey the Rocker, man. You know, yeah. That's what brought us together, man. Yeah. And, and yeah. I thank you. When you came to me and said, man, thank you for introducing me to the best thing that happened in my life, man. Yeah, I man. never forgot that. Man. Facts. So, yeah. Mickey, I don't know if he told you that, but uh -huh. that shit touched my heart. I had to go home and cry and shit. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> you said that was you? Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Thank you all for watching the Unapologetic No Mask, where we unapologetic.